<clears throat> Good evening, YouTube. And viewers, I figured I would do a little bit of show and tell on the Lee Loader for 45 Colt. Pretty much works the same for any of the other cartridges you can get them for. Um, I didn't think about you guys until after I was pretty well already said and done, but this has already been deprimed. Uh, but I'll take you through the steps anyway. That goes in this guy here. So take this neat little thing, stick it in the primer hole. You would give it a whap. Primer would come out, discharge it. Then you take your reloading die, stick that on top there. You can use, especially if you did what I did and used too hot of a load last time, you use some chapstick to load it up. No reason to go pay high dollar for some case lube. Stick that in there, get a solid surface. Get it down there like so. Uh, on my revolver, I don't have to go flush because it's not it's not too picky about how flared out the casings are. But if you load them hot, it's almost impossible to flush that out. But for mine, that's close enough. You'll take this guy and you'll take your primer. Stick your primer in this guy here, just like so. Stick this guy in here. Careful with this part. Use gloves on this guy. If you're using a magnum primer or if you just don't want to hurt yourself. Give it a couple taps. It's not seated. Still not seated. Like I said, I overloaded my last my last one, so these are a little more stubborn than they usually are. You get them stubborn like that. Uh, I learned this trick. Just stick it in there. It's really stubborn. out of there like I said this is because I overloaded my shells a little too hot I tried to back down my load with them because I was using magnum primers and it just didn't quite work out the way I wanted it to but anyway if you end up doing that and they're stubborn coming out of your reloading set just stick it up like that that a little tap like so and it'll it'll get it there there she is so she's flush and anyway as long as your kit casings aren't swollen stick it back in here pop it out casing swollen verify nothing's in the way of the primer hole okay and after that You'll set that guy right here. This is what will flare out your end to accept a bullet. Don't take much, just a little bit. Flares it out to the diameter you need. Then you'll take your powder. I don't know how picky YouTube is about certain things, so I'm not going to tell you guys what I use. Or at least what my load is. That is up to you. Do the research. Make sure you don't blow up your gun or hurt yourself. Okay, but you'll put your load in. Also, I'm not going to tell you what powder I use. Like I said, you get a reloading book and it will tell you everything, all everything you need to know about what powder to use and how much of it to use. My reloading book did not tell me for magnum primers, <clears throat> and I took a guess on my first casings. They turned out okay, but don't do that. Follow the book. Okay, 
So take your casing, verifying that your primer hole is clean. Take your powder charge. We'll stick it in there. Okay. And then after that, this same thing you used for your primer. Also set your depth. So you'll stick this guy on top. I like to put the bullet in first. Okay. Then set this guy on top. Put this on here. Belt out the flush. Check your edges. Flip this around. I like to give good three a good three good taps. It'll crimp it down for you. You want to crimp it down harder, just keep smacking it. That's how that's done. Uh, it's always nice to have one of these. Verify your length. In which case I am I'm right where I need to be. For where I set mine. And that's that. That is the Lee Reloader. 50 bucks online. You got most everything except for a scale and your powder, your shells, and your bullet. But everything you need to get them ready to reload.